All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Catherine Mays. I am the NCDA Director of Women's Engagement. Um, and today I am here with our January 2024 Women's Baller of the Month, Alexis Schultz. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing good. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> Um, we're going to take a little bit of a different approach for this interview. Um, for those of you who may not be aware, this is Alexis's third Baller of the Month recognition. Um, so laying the groundwork here. She's a first. She's, uh, she's breaking barriers. Um, but I figured we would do something a little bit different, um, some other questions so we can truly get to know Alexis a little bit better. Um, so we'll just start from the top, um, jumping right into it. <laughs> Do you have any pre-tournament superstitions, habits, traditions? What's that morning look like? Um, In the morning, I don't really do anything like too crazy or different than what I usually do. But one thing I always like to do, even if we like go to away tournaments, sometimes I'll like bring breakfast food. Because mm -hmm. like, if I do not eat breakfast in the morning before I play, and like I'm with people who like don't want to go get breakfast, then I'll be like off the entire day. I'll yeah. be like starving and I won't be able to focus. Like I have to eat something before I play. Yeah, but I'll go crazy. Yeah, and there's there's usually not a good time to step away either, so got to bring it with you. Um, do you have anything specifically you like to snack on or any coffee drinks or anything? Ooh, um, usually for breakfast it's some kind of oatmeal slash yogurt slash fruit <laughs> um coffee usually I do just a iced latte with almond milk pretty standard I I like. Like. <laughs> cool all right um how about your favorite and least favorite jerseys in the league right now Ooh, favorite jerseys probably Michigan State I really like their jerseys. I feel like it just like looks very professional. The dark green. Least favorite? Yeah, the, the yeah. green. Mm -hmm. Um, least favorite, probably this is more like of an in general thing, but like white jerseys that I love like the white jerseys and the white on white, but like white jerseys that only have like white shirt, like school name and then number on the back that are just like very plain. Yeah. Like if they're white and they have like a design on them, love it. But like if they're just plain like they need some more yeah there's a couple of teams I think in the league with jerseys like that but yeah we won't call anyone out but <laughs> <in general. laughs> I mean I love the white on white don't get me wrong but yeah I also don't think I could keep that clean but we have white ones well they're not all white they're like a gradient but yeah we'll see how long it stays clean <laughs> yeah I don't I don't think I could keep it clean either um all right next one have you ever washed your knee pads and if so, when's the last time you did that? So I actually have, I usually alternate. I have a black pair and a white pair. I usually wear white for games. The white ones, I think the last time I washed them was right before the women's tournament at MSU because I remember I put them on and they were still wet. <laughs> All my stuff was still wet. I was like, what the heck? I thought it was dry, but it wasn't. The black ones, I honestly couldn't tell you probably before that, but they're not as smelly because I rotate. So it's like, okay. That's smart. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever washed mine, but I also, they're on top of leggings, so. Yeah, that's what mine are. Well, I like the yeah. leg sleeves, so. A little layer of protection there. <laughs> um, Next one, who or what is your halftime snack? Halftime, like uh, in between points? Yeah, yeah, in between, yeah, teams, points, games, yeah, whatever. Okay, well, usually I feel like most people on my team know I like to. I literally bring like an entire lunch <laughs> to tournaments, and like I will sit there. Like we were, it was it was at ODC. I remember we got like literally a five minute break before I had to go ref, and I'm standing there walking around with my lunchbox, and I've got like a little <laughs> green like sandwich container, and I was like walking around, and I'm standing there in like the cap or like the the chat they do at the beginning of the game with like the captains and the refs and stuff. And then I see, like, Dylan Greer with, like, a camera, like, walking around trying to get, like, faces and stuff. And I'm just sitting there eating a sandwich, and I'm, like, putting it away. Like, trying to, like, be like, oh, they're, like, recording this. But usually I like to bring, like, a full lunch. Yeah. Like, sandwich. Like, I'll make, like, a sandwich and then, like, 
fruit or something or like a granola bar yeah gotta stay uh fueled up um next one black white or ncda goat tape black but that's also what i was first introduced to so okay and are you like uh a two pieces like i do a yeah i rip it in half like long ways i guess mm-hmm. and then i do one this way and then one like around this yeah. way if that makes sense yeah yeah that's like, <laughs> I, I know there's like everyone thinks they have the best way to tape um so i was just kind of curious um next one do you think you've taken more headshots or given more headshots in pinch i've definitely taken more headshots because my throw was like very like downward i guess like overhand yeah i don't think i've ever hit someone in it maybe i rarely hit people in games like in the face i feel like yeah in no sting i feel like i've given more i also haven't gotten many headshots in no sting though so okay yeah do you have a, a memorable one or does does one stand out at all either given or taken Ooh, taken probably at practice i've gotten hit by a couple of i got hit by adam pretty good i've gotten hit by tommy pretty good um given there was one girl at our bowling green this was a no sting mm-hmm. it was the bowling green tournament last year and there's a girl i think she might have been like an alumni that year too oh, shoot, what team was she on I remember it was at Bowling Green though, and I know they're pretty hard, but they like just like missed it on the camera. I was like, so <laughs> mad because I wanted to see it, but she was okay. She like laughed it off. Okay. But, yeah. Okay, good. Um, it's kind of funny watching that stuff play back because I think the women's league, a lot of us are like, "Oh my god, are you okay? Like, I'm so sorry." And it's just like, yeah. <laughs> that's just how it is. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next question: Who is your favorite person? in the league to see at tournaments and why is it me or anyone else else? (laughs) favorite person at tournaments Ooh, probably this isn't like a person specifically but I love it when like there's a big like group of people like announcing or like commentating on games stuff like that when they're just like I guess like a crew like at ODC when they had people commentating on those games like just seeing people like invested in like the league and stuff like that and like the content that comes out Mm -hmm. like seeing people like that in general yeah like yeah no that's huge and they're not even they're not even playing they're just taking time out yeah help us out and you know keep growing the league so no that's a that's a good answer I'll accept that answer (laughs) (laughs) um Next question. Are there any rules currently in the sport, either pinch or no sting, that you'd like to see changed? Or maybe you're not a fan of it. So I think in general, I would say, or for this applies to both no sting and pinch. There should, or there, like, it'd be a good idea to introduce a rule or like, if you, so Akron has an issue where like, we have enough for an A to B team, but sometimes we don't have enough for a full B team. Yeah. So there's like six or seven people who come and like they don't make the roster so they can't play if it was like a um, that was for pinch like mm-hmm. six or seven can't play if there was like a if you're up by like this many points after halftime allowing those players to get in I yeah. think would be huge because like although like it does give an advantage to like the teams because they're like resting their best players at the same time it's just an incentive to grow your team more and to grow the league like yeah that's how I see it. Like, if you don't get to take the benefits of that, then you need to recruit more. No, it's, that's a good one. But, and that does happen often enough, like, going up that that big of a point differential. And mm-hmm. is it really worth it to keep going? Maybe it might be worth it. I mean, put another maybe point. at, like, nationals, I could see them, like, not doing that. Or, like, um, what is it? like the turn I don't know what they're called like the cup tournaments like oh, the yeah, ODC, the ones, NBC yeah. stuff like that mm-hmm. maybe not those but like regular season or regular tournaments definitely I would say yeah okay cool um a couple more dodgeball ones uh who would you love to see the NCDA partner with I think it would be cool I feel like okay so I feel like that everyone likes like the ball stay knee pads but I feel like we don't have like a good or like a 
go to arm sleeve one i feel like evo shield could be really cool because like i feel like i i played softball and that was a big like softball brand but i really like their arm sleeves i feel like that would be okay a cool one to get into or even like a like a shoe brand because i feel like there's not a lot of like there's not really a dodgeball like shoe like a lot of people do basketball some will do like i've seen volleyball shoes i've seen like just like running shoes Mm -hmm. but it'd be cool to have like i don't know what a thoughtful shoe would be i guess there's different preferences but maybe like nike under armor just like a shoe brand too yeah cool oh yeah no that'd be awesome what kind of shoes do you wear do you have a preference um i like basketball shoes usually i've been leaning toward low tops my old ones were high tops or no, they were like mid. They weren't like crazy high, but I usually prefer like glove top basketball shoes. Yeah, yeah, something for that ankle support, but not too heavy. But yeah, you're right. Lots of preferences with that. Um, next one in your own super team, not bounded by schools. Uh, who are you taking with you to OT six? Is this including me or not including me? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, you're. You're one of the OT6. Okay, one Five. of the OT6. I would do... First, I would do that... What's his name? Jones from OU. The catcher. Um. I think he's 47. That kid, every time you play <laughs> OU, catch, like, probably, like, has half of their outs and just catches alone. Like, I swear. Yeah. I'm going to try to um, you keep going. See yeah, is. I would take that kid. I would take probably Rosinski and Engelman from Cincy. What is that for? Could it be PJ from Akron? Mm-hmm. PJ would have been my first, actually. Okay, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll right. reorder that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, these aren't really better, but and then <laughs> I would take um Ben Smart from GV. Mm-hmm. Is that six? No, wait. I think that was six. PJ, Engelman. That's yeah smart. and i don't know the the ohio person's name um jones seven okay yeah i think this is that's his last name i don't know his first name okay okay yeah no we'll it also to... doesn't help i feel like i don't have a huge grasp on people from like outside of ohio so a lot of those are ohio names but yeah it's okay <laughs> play with who you're comfortable with <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah yeah who would be in your no sting ot4 OT4. There's three others, I guess. I would probably... I'd probably pick... Mm-hmm. Allie from MSU. Okay. And then I'd probably pick... I don't know if I can do four. That's tough. <laughs> That's a really small amount. <laughs> And then I, I probably do. Ooh, I don't know if I would want more catchers or throwers. Thinking about it now. I know. Probably you and Abby. Okay. Or Sky, though. Yeah, that's really I can give you five. Name. I'll give you five names. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I can't pick. There's too many good players, I feel like. But yeah, I'd probably do. Me, Ali, you, Sky, Abby. Okay. Combination of the five. Yeah. I feel yeah. like, depending on who we play, you gotta. Okay. Yeah, that's true. You gotta scope out the competition. Very true. Okay. Cool. Um, branching into some non dodgeball questions. Um, on a non tournament Saturday, what are you up to? Non tournament Saturday. I, since the weather's been getting warmer, there's this place kind of at my house. It's like, a a cliff overlook kind of thing like a huge cliff but it's like a overlook thing and there's like always like really good sunsets nice um also me and my friends have been on like this escape room kick lately <laughs> so <laughs> we've been doing a lot of those they're fun okay. but um yeah other than that not too much lots of homework i am engineering major so yep but um okay no that's a good answer good balance <laughs> good mix of things um some rapid fire ones pineapple on pizza no i disagree um Mm -hmm. (laughs) what is your favorite season not including dodgeball season spring but 
spring but i think like fall like is the best but there's also the most activities to do in fall Mm -hmm. i feel like so i say spring okay okay um crunchy or smooth peanut butter depends what i'm using it for but probably crunchy okay i agree with that it kind of depends on use yeah all right Um, also crunchy goes faster like I think like a can of crunchy. I go through that twice as fast. Oh, it's okay, okay. Thicker. Yeah. 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 That's fair. Um. Was the dress blue and black or white and gold? Blue and black. I agree. That's what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> um. This is just to make sure. Are you a sock sock shoe shoe person or a sock shoe sock shoe person, or does it depend on the shoe? No, I'm definitely two socks and then two shoes. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. I also, I feel like I don't put on my socks, like, right before I put on my shoes, so I never run into that issue, yeah. I guess. Okay. Um, Is jelly wet? When I think of jelly, I think of jello, like the pudding kind of, you know, like the, yeah. the I don't say neon, like the colorful, like the red, yellow, green, or not green, orange jello cups. Yeah. In that sense, I'd say, like, no, but I also know some people think of like a jelly is more of a jam, which I would say is wet. So is it a yes or a no? Is it wet? Depends on the jelly. <laughs> okay. I would say it's wet. I think it's wet. <laughs> well. Um, it's kind of an out there one. If you could have any five liquids on demand, like one from each finger, what would they be? It doesn't have to be like all drinks, you know, it could be um are they like household use type of things. Let's pretend you don't have to make one of your fingers water. We'll just say that's I don't have to make one of them water. Okay. I would do one of them would be fair lemonade. I'd probably make them all drinks, if I'm being honest. Okay. One of them would be like fair lemonade. One of them would be, I don't know if you know what this is. They're like Olipop and Poppy. Like oh, the, yeah, yeah. Those like soda drinks that like aren't really soda. Yeah. Yep. Those are good. Those are very good. <laughs> One of them would probably be, I don't know, big, probably tea, just like unsweet tea. Okay. I'm not like a huge pop drinker, so like it's hard for me to, hard. One could be, Okay, this isn't, it's a liquid, but, like, it's almost not, I would say, sunscreen. You know what? That's a good answer, actually. I didn't think about that. And then I would probably do uh, ooh, uh, smoothie. Okay. Probably a berry. Either berry or, like, a banana nut. Okay. All right. All consumable except the sunscreen, but sunscreen's a good yeah. here, honestly. Um, I've tried to think about that a lot. I don't know where I saw that question, but you think about that, that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I look down, I'm like, which one? <laughs> um, fair, fair. I think maybe like an electrolyte drink would be helpful, mm. maybe to have on hand. Um, True. But I've seen answers like even like gasoline or something, you know, you're never stuck. Like, just use my pointer finger and fill up the tank. Um, so true, true. Does that mean you're more flammable? <laughs> you <have> gasoline hands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe that wouldn't be a great answer. Um, <laughs> you'd need like a good like, I don't know, safety feature. <laughs> you're not just putting that everywhere um okay no I, that's something I, I think about though <laughs> if, I, <laughs> if I could have any five liquids um next question what are your thoughts on public transportation do you use it do you like it um I don't use it I mean I'm not like I feel like I I don't really use it unless I go to like the only place I've ever really used it was in like, whoa, okay, like planes. Okay. Like, and then I've been like, I feel like the only time I've ever ridden a bus was like going to school 
or stuff like that. So I say I'm like pro public like transportation, but like I don't really use it, so it's hard to yeah give a really good opinion on it. I guess no, that's fair. I, more convenient, I have a car, so yeah. Um, do you think you could ride a bike with no hands, like right now? We take no. it side. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can ride a bike. Like I like bike riding. Yeah. But yeah, no, I feel like I'd fall. Okay. But <laughs> just curious. Um, <laughs> what kind of bear is best? What kind of bear is best? Mm-mm-mm. I'm gonna go black bear. Because ironically, Akron just had this like stuff a plush event, and you picked a <laughs> stuffed animal and you stuffed it, mm-hmm. and I picked a black bear. Okay. So that's why I'm going with that answer. Okay, okay. <laughs> that's a good answer. I think that's kind of how the, the office reference goes down, too. Um, do you have any favorite shows or recommendations or anything you like favorite watching? Shows. Well, currently watching The Bachelor and vampire diaries okay. oh my gosh vampire diaries so good love gossip <laughs> girl big dance moms fan big okay. dance moms fan i'm excited i heard there's like a reunion Ooh. sometime coming i think it's in may okay so that's definitely a good one but... i'm also watching the bachelor so getting down to those those final episodes i know i'm like do you have a favorite someone you think you might choose I am down to okay, so I'm on the how far are you? I don't spoil it. I just watched. Are you caught up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm on. I watched like half of the hometowns episode. Oh, okay. If you're watching this, stop watching. If you haven't finished the bachelor, <laughs> pause um, and skip forward. <laughs> <laughs> I would probably say Kelsey, or I also think Kelsey would make a good like next, next she'd be the next yeah she'd be the best candidate for that too though so yeah. like i don't know i feel like he's not gonna pick rachel i feel like they don't have the good he has stronger connections with her i feel like i like kelsey a lot i think she's yeah. a good choice team kelsey team kelsey okay cool no just just curious <laughs> um <laughs> and our last question um i guess just with you know, a few more tournaments this spring. We got what war and nationals times two. Um, yeah. What are you looking forward to this summer? What What are your off season plans? Um. Yeah. So this summer, I'm gonna be back with um, Rubber City Resistance. Pretty much the couple. I think one or two new people, but pretty much the same as last year for the most part um yeah i'll be with them all summer i think we're doing a no staying tournament which should be fun we did last year we did like an outdoor one which was a lot of fun so yeah i really hope we do that again but i got a really bad tan line from that though because i had like kt tape on and it like <laughs> oh. bad. but that was fun and then yeah just whatever nda tournaments and then for um no staying comets but um yeah <laughs> with them and then uh that's really it cool no i'm excited for nda i think uh there's a lot of good tournaments coming up yeah i'm excited for some more women's tournaments there for sure for sure and definitely excited to play on the same side of the court with you (laughs) (laughs) yeah no that'll be nice yeah i hope we get a bigger turnout this year than last year it was nice to like have a get it going last year but i definitely want to see more yeah. girls more teams more involvement yeah yeah definitely cool um well yeah that's that's all i got for you um and congratulations again on this recognition you definitely deserve it um <laughs> thank you <laughs> love seeing you succeed so maybe i'll uh see you on another call in the next couple months next <laughs> oh <season. boy. laughs> um but yeah thanks again for joining me thanks for everyone tuning in